Okay, so we are um, going to make Russian chicken today, which is a recipe of Brian's mom that she taught me when we first uh, got married. It is very easy and very delicious. And thank you, Margaret. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mom. We appreciate it. <laughs> it's a great recipe. She uh, used to make it when we were kids. It's not a hard recipe. Uh, recipe. It's something that's fairly easy to make, which, of course, is good. You know, good food doesn't have to be hard to make. At least, I don't think it does. The only issue with this is it takes time to marinate and it takes time to cook. So the marinating with the uh, sauce um, or the marinade will um, take 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Um, I strongly recommend doing it for the 24 hours. Uh, the flavor is amazing. And then to cook it is going to take another two hours. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so I guess it's kind of a marinade, but it's a little different. But uh, we'll get into that. We'll start with the chicken here. Because Russian we, chicken needs chicken. <laughs> we have chicken thighs. And they're nice and meaty. So no drummies and flatties this time, just chicken thighs. Just chicken thighs. And we just kind of open them up and put them in the dish. So they need to be in a, a type of dish that has sides on it. Yeah, a shallow, a shallow dish. So. Shallow dish. And we will put those in there like that. I will move these to the other side. And again, I will wash my hands because I just <laughs> handled chicken. Handled the chicken. You don't want to cross-contaminate anything. No, no, we don't. <laughs> Definitely not. So, hygiene is important. And um, we first start off with Russian dressing. Everybody should be fairly familiar with Russian salad dressing. Is this originally like a salad dressing? It is a salad, yeah. yeah. It, it was originally a salad dressing. So you want 120, oh, I gotta take the little thing off. The cover off. There yeah. we are. 125 millimeter, milliliters or half a cup. I'm, I'm better off <laughs> with the half a cup. Yes. <laughs> There's that metric thing again that yeah. we're still trying to figure out. Some things it's easier. We, we've kind of adapted to a different uh, metric measurements uh, rather than imperial, but some things, it's, boy, it's hard to get away from those old imperial measurements for us of, of our, our um, age. <laughs> well, it's also, this was a recipe from your mom, so it was actually right. done in cups and... Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mom. We yep. appreciate it. The next we will do is... What's this? This is oh. apricot jam. Apricot jam. Wow. And I strongly recommend using apricot. It has a really good flavor with mm. the Russian dressing. Not any old jam. Apricot jam. Apricot jam. <laughs> As my mommy used to make. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Your mom made apricot yeah. jam. Well, she didn't make apricot. Oh, well, she might have. She might have. She did make a few jams. She likes jam. Yes. Yes. Really likes jam. Okay. There we go. I guess a shot of that. No, no, no. There we go. Okay, we will put 125 millimeter, milliliters or half a cup of apricot jam. There we go. Let's put it in the bowl together. Yeah. Clean out the. I hate my hands being gooey. <laughs> hate gooey hands. Hate gooey hands. <laughs> So one of the things we're doing now is posting the uh, recipes online on the episode web, pa web page. So this one will be there as well. So go to the episode web page, which will be posted, and uh, you can uh, download the recipe. The next is onion soup mix. Oh, onion soup mix. There, got to glare off all the lights. <laughs> Perfect, onion and soup mix. it's just one envelope of onion soup mm, mix. One envelope. Like I said, pretty open. simple. I might actually be able to make this. I might. Um, I think that if, if you can't, th there's, there's, <laughs> there's a problem. Yeah, we, we have problems. <laughs> well, I have problems. So. <laughs> yeah, I am a problem. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I can be. You're learning. You're really I'm, learning. I'm trying to learn. Mm -hmm. I want to learn. I'm going to put that in there. 
Okay, and you stir it up. Very easy. Make sure that all the apricot jam is mixed in with the Russian dressing and the soup mix. Everything is kind of dissolved and... Mix it up good. Mix it up good. Now, the next part of this is actually very simple. You just pour it over the chicken. Just pour it over the chicken. That's easy. There we are, and we will pour it over the chicken. And scrape out all the goodness. So it's kind of like a marinade, but you actually cook it with this. Yes. You marinate it for 24 hours, and then you cook it in the uh, the marinade. Right in it, yeah, with it on top. Boy, that must have put some flavors in it. I know it's really tasty, so. And you just kind of cover, cover it over. It over. No need to double the sauce on this because it really makes enough sauce. Mm. And we had it with coconut rice. Mm. And I th think that we're going to do that one next so that you have the complete meal. Oh, there you go. Coconut rice and Russian chicken. Russian mm. chicken. So good. Scrape off all Should we tell of them this? we had it last night? We had it last yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> So that's why I'm, I'm speaking from uh, from authority when I say it's really good because we just had it. <laughs> okay. There we go. More sticky fingers. We should sticky name this fingers. show Sticky Fingers. Sticky Fingers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Kelly's Sticky fingers. fingers. Okay, so now we just cover it with uh, cover it really. some plastic wrap. Susan Saran wrap. Yeah. <laughs> Saran. <laughs> oh, that was a bad that joke. That was a bad joke. That was really bad. Yeah. yeah. Cringeworthy. They don't get any better either, my jokes, that is. The chicken's and good, but the jokes aren't. <laughs> we will um, show you what this is when it comes out of the oven after the two hours um, and the 24 hours. So we will show you that later. Yeah, so we're going to let it sit in the yep. fridge, and I'm assuming it goes in the fridge for it 24 hours. It goes in the fridge for 24 yeah. hours. Let those flavors soak up into yep. the chicken, and uh, so we'll show it to, the, to you at the process where we take it out of the oven. Okay, if that sounds all right, we'll be back. We'll be back. Okay, so we're back. We're about to pull the Russian chicken out of the oven, and it smells some good. I can't wait. Are we ready? We're ready. All right, let's go get it. Dig in. Well, not yet. Ooh, lots of heat. She is very hot. Shut that off and that off. Still bubbling. Still bubbling. Okay, so we're gonna plate and we're gonna have our coconut rice. I'll take that. And we'll put the coconut rice first on the plate. I can see around here. And you know how to make the coconut rice because we have a little series on that as well. There we are. How does that look? Mm. Looks good. I'll close this down. We will put the... Yeah, don't touch that, that no. tray. That is hot. <laughs> Excuse my fingers. We'll put the asparagus on the plate. Like that, and I guess we're gonna use this. We will put the chicken on the plate. Chicken on the plate. Oh, and then we're gonna yeah. wipe the plate. Do I have something to wipe the plate? Not your tongue, no, what? no, not oh. your tongue. Okay. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> we will wipe the plate, but that that is what Russian chicken with asparagus and coconut rice looks like. And it is very easy. Even he could do this. I might. There's, there's hope for me yet. This is, <laughs> is, this is quite easy, so. Enjoy. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, if you like this recipe, you can always download it on the webpage for this episode. And as always, like, share, follow, and subscribe to help us grow the channel so we can bring you more from Kelly's Kitchen. See you, everyone. See ya.